Hello again, everyone. Today, I just have a small unboxing from Chic Sparrow. I'm not really gonna get much into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out so we can start. Okay, so there's the product warranty card. And I'm just gonna pull this out. It is small. <laughs> Put that off to the side there and this is actually my all-time favorite um chic sparrow sticker is the little raccoon with the art palette so i've actually been putting them on some of my watercolor palettes all right so this little guy is a two pen holder and this is from the fairweather collection which is a collaboration and let's see Hmm, which way does it go? Does it go this way? I think it goes this way. So this, the original um, <clears throat> folio that goes with this is an A6 size. So I think this is really supposed to go around an A6 size. Um, A6 is just not my size. So that's why I didn't get one of the folios. But I am going to see if it will work on my... B6 Slim, which is an everyday carry for me. Um, and I think I do have, let me see. I was looking to see if I have a folio still, but I think I actually moved that out of my office. Let's see. Yes, I no longer have my B6 Slim folio in here, but we're gonna see if it works on a TN. So this is obviously a traveler's notebook, so it already has a pen loop on the side, but I always like, oh yeah, that's gonna work perfect. So I could take the elastic out and just have it be this, and I think that's how they showed it with the, um, with the A6 folio, but I tend to not like to remove my <clears throat> elastic, so I think I'm gonna leave it on here. And I'm pretty sure that this is the way it goes. So let's go ahead and try a pen in here. I'm gonna try, so this is my Moon Man, I think it's the A1. And that's gonna go there. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Is this the wrong way around? I'm not sure. I'm actually gonna take a quick look on the website while I have you here. So, because I do want to make sure I have it on the right way. Here, look up Chic Sparrow and Fair Weather. I do think that it is. Oh, of course, this doesn't show it. <laughs> Let's see. Because I think that they are actually, they've been sold out for a while, these pen loops. Yes. Okay, so this is the way that they show them on the website of this being the, the bottom and this being the top. That's what I thought. So let's just try a variety of pens in here. So this, like I said, this is the um, A1 Moon Man, which is the same size as a Pilot Vanishing Point. So that seems to work well in there. This is, so this doesn't have a clip. I would probably prefer a clip in here. So this is a Franklin Kristoff model 45 large, I believe. So that actually works quite well. That's nice and sturdy in there. And because there's a little bit of a step up to the cap here, I think it would hold it in there just fine. It doesn't seem to, doesn't, th doesn't seem like it would fall out. So, so I think that's actually gonna be a good one. I have one of these gigantic Franklin Kristoff desk pens. Let's see, so that seems like it'd be a little bit loose. Um, plus it's a little big, but I mean, it, it. I think it's tight enough that it would hold it. So let's see. In here, I have a Pelican M600. So let's see how that goes. That seems to go really nicely in there. Because what I like to do is I like to have the clip over this, but I don't want it to be hanging off the bottom. But I think that that works pretty well, but I'm just gonna put it back in the regular pen loop for right now. 
Um, let's see, what else do I have? <clears throat> so this, I don't think it's going to fit this one. So this is a, uh, it's a moon man, but it's kind of a fat moon man and that is not gonna fit because that is too big. I think they're generally pretty generous with their sizing on these. So I do have a Gravitas pen here, which I believe this is sort of the uh, beginner model, or I'm not quite sure what it's called. That actually looks gorgeous with that as a combination. And with it in there, with the cap a little bit in the thing, um, I'll, actually, I'll put a link to this model of uh, fountain pen on the Gravitas website. Um, so that actually fits really well. And it looks really beautiful with this uh, July Red Maverick leather. Let's see, it looks like I have a little spot there. Okay, so that will fit. Um, I think I have another, <clears throat> another, another Gravitas pen, which is a little bit thicker. So that one will go in up to the uh, cap. And I think it'll hold it pretty well. So actually this is pretty good here. Most of these have fit. Um, I have some larger Ranga. These are actually not the super large Ranga models, but I do have some here. I think that's pushing it. That's probably a little big and I don't want to stretch the leather too much. So I'm not going to put those in there because those tend to be kind of big. And let's see. Let me get my little case full of Kawakos. So these were the pens that I actually saw in some of the advertising for this. Um, it is a little tight, but I think it fits well. So those are gonna fit well. Um, that's the Sport. And, oh, it looks like I don't have any of the metal ones in here. I'll have to open another thing for that. Okay. I'm trying to get a good variety of pens here. Okay, so here's a Lamy. A Lamy is probably a pen that a lot of people have. Um, that fits, it's a little tiny bit awkward um, in putting it in there just because of the uh, step up here because if you want the clip to kind of hold on it's a little bit big a little bit clunky there and let's see lots of different pens to choose from over here Here are some pocket pens here. So here, these are the All Sport for Kuwaiko. And actually, I think that fits in a little bit better, probably just because it's a little bit slick and you can fit it in there. And that is actually a lovely combination too here. And this would work really great on a folio because you don't have a pen clip or, or a pen holder already incorporated into the traveler's notebook. Uh, let's see, so these are a little pocket size moon mans. Um, those are probably, yeah, I don't wanna stretch it out too much. I think those might be a little too thick. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay, I have some diplomats. Okay, the Diplomat will fit, yes. Okay, it seems like everything but the super large pens will probably fit here. I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna get out some Twisbees here. Let's try a Twisby Eco. Um, yeah, so you could put that there or it seems like it will fit in there all the way, but it will stretch a little bit. So the Eco will fit. Um, here is a 580. 
And again, that will fit. I think I wouldn't go more than that. I'd, it's very secure that way. And actually, let me put two in there so that you can, yeah. It really does not seem to matter whether there's one or two. There's a pretty good separation between the two pens. Um, so here's the vac, the, the full size vac that fits as well. And then I have a mini vac, which fits very well in there. I think the uh, smaller pens would probably be better for this because they won't hang over too far. Um, and then I have this Twisby here, one of the new less expensive models and that works really well. Okay. I'm gonna open one more pocket pen collection here. And then I'm going to end. Okay, so this has um, this has a shown design uh, pocket pen that actually fits really really well, and that's not really going to go anywhere. It seems like this loop is just a little bit looser than this one. Um, so if you have a bigger pen, you know you can put it in one loop. I'm not sure if that's going to be consistent across. Uh, but it fits in both, but it's a little more secure in this one. Excellent. That would be a good one to have in there. This is a Keras Customs Mini. Definitely fits. Okay, so the Opus 88 pocket pen is a little big. It fits better on this side. <clears throat> All right, what else do we have? And then we have a Twisby minis, which I think will fit really, really well. Yes, those fit really well. So the moral of the story is I think pretty much most pens, unless they're big, super big, are going to fit in this little pen loop. I don't know if they're going to make this available again. Um, I hope they do because I think they've done some restocking here and there. But I really, really like this. I, I love any kind of like accessory pen loop kind of a thing. And like I said, this will be really good for a, um, a folio. Yeah, so people were saying that the leather smells pretty strong on both the folio and this because I think it's the same leather. And I tend to tend to agree. It actually smells a little bit like a little, little bit like seaweed which I like. I don't, I don't mind the smell of seaweed, but that's just a little strange. Okay. So I think that's all I wanted to show you about the pen loop. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to be available again, so it might not help you all that much if they don't make it available. But if they do, I would say definitely snag one of these. Um, even if you don't like the folio, because I think it's going to be really versatile and useful. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Bye.